Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. I've been traveling, I'm back now, and it is time for another note-taking app video. Today we are diving into Tana because I think I have finally understood the hype, maybe a year too late, but I have finally understa uh, understood the hype about Tana. So Tana is basically an outliner, something like LogSec. For those of you who like outliners, I have done a few videos on some outliners. One of them was RemNote and Tana is quite similar. Everything inside of Tana is a node and Inside of those nodes, you can have more nodes, so you can nest a bullet point within bullet points. And that's what I have done with most of my different pages. You can do this for people, you can do this for your resources. That might be a book, or it might be an article, or whatever it is. You can nest things underneath here. But that's not the true power of Tana. The true power of Tana is these super tags which you can configurate and you can add different properties to different tags or super tags as they're called. Quite similar to something like uh, something like Heptabase has for those of you who have tried that out. So you can create these uh, super tags and by using the super tags you can create databases and the main point here is that you can actually use the um, super tags to organize everything quite easily so it doesn't matter where a note goes inside of Tana or a bullet point or a node it doesn't matter where it goes as long as you correctly uh, tag it so let's say I was reading the book how to take smart notes and I would give this the tag book and it will appear in my list of books but let's say I wanted to see this as a database let's just remove this and I wanted to see my books as a database you can press command k and you can find notes with the tag book and I can get them as a list and then I can change the view to be a table or even a cards for those of you who like Kanban views but I like the table I like the table view whenever I am using a database and this is basically the power of Tana this is what makes it so good and what makes people love it it has a lot of good things going with AI as well but this is the thing that drove the hype because it doesn't matter where things go as long as you correctly as long as you correctly tag them because you can always do a smart search and get all of your notes uh, in a table or a list or a Kanban if you wanted to and it is quite easy to actually customize these tags so I could add new properties if I wanted to I could add a checkbox or I could add an image there are so many things you can do with this app but I believe that the thing that has given Tana all of these all of this hype is how easy it is to capture things inside of your daily page so this is for today and you can just tag them and easily be able to find them in a, in a separate place in your workspace it is that simple and it is really easy to create different workspaces as well so you could have one for your work one for your personal stuff and it is really easy to move things between workspaces as well so ease of use and uh, easily capturing things has to be the best part about Tana but it has a learning curve I struggled so much to understand this app it may be because my brain cannot understand complex PKM systems but it looks like a really amazing app and it has developed quite quickly and I have finally understood why it is so hyped up. It doesn't have a mobile app yet, it has a capture app where everything appears inside of your inbox 
I love uh, inbox feature because I can then easily go and untag them and move them to different places later. So I am just trying it out and seeing whether or not it works. Uh, and mostly I've tried it out for this video or these few videos I'm going to make about Tana, but it looks like an amazing outliner and you can even create flashcards uh, inside of this. I've seen people do that as well. So for students, that's amazing. But overall, I would say that this app is great for outliners, people who like to take short bullet point notes and people who don't want to spend too much time organizing things which is a lot of people, me included. I like taking notes, I don't like actually organizing them. But that's basically how Tana works. If you have any questions, any apps you want me to review or anything, please do comment them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.